some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome back to Board Games Unlocked, and we are playing Echoes. Uh, this one we are doing for the cocktail. Uh, yeah, so this is kind of an well murder whodunit mystery uh, using audio clues. Um, quick caveat though, uh, if you watch this all the way through, you will know how to solve this, and uh, it's not replayable. So spoilers. Now, shall we get started? Well, it's not replayable, but they're they'll be playing it for the first time, so. Playable. <laughs> and they don't have to tell their friends that they already watched us. I guess that's true. They can say, oh, have you played this now? Yep, and then they'll sit there and be like, well, I think this is the exact sequence. They have, <laughs> they have deniability. Yeah, all right. Or just watch with the audio off. That's true. <laughs> and just and you can go off our facial expressions. And the pictures being <laughs> put on the screen. Yeah. Ready? Yes. Let's see what this is about? No. New York. During Prohibition, Detective Tony G has been tracking the operations and whereabouts of mob boss Cruel Steve Manchetti for years without knowing his identity. Tony finally caught a break when Arthur, a bartender at a speakeasy owned by Cruel Steve, agreed to rat on his mysterious employer. Yesterday, Tony turned up for a meeting with Arthur and found him lying on the ground, a bullet hole in his side, with blood running down his chin. Arthur pressed a card into Tony's hand and mumbled something about a bartender who was working at the speakeasy that night. Those words proved to be his last. The membership card for the speakeasy gave an address and a telephone number. Tony called and spoke to the bartender, offering a deal in exchange for information. But the bartender insisted she couldn't help him. Desperate for answers, Tony set up a raid on the speakeasy but arrive in the early morning hours to find the place abandoned. Smoking ashes suggested that someone had tried to burn evidence. Of particular interest were pages torn from a book of cocktails, each recipe labeled with a different name. Tony guessed the names were members of Steve's gang, including Cruel Steve himself. Tony brought you the pages of cocktail recipes and other items from the bar. He has asked you to tell him everything you can about the members of Steve's gang, and, if possible, to identify Cruel Steve. Okay. Cool. So, that is the story. We shall continue. I was going to do it automatically. <laughs> Boom. All right. Let's see what we got. Is this an ice scoop? Yeah, uh, ice scooper. <laughs> is this yeah, looks like. Is this an ice scoop? Oh, give me a drink. <laughs> Pee's in it. Spits in his face. It's him shaking his head. Okay. okay. Yeah, he doesn't stop. It's like, can can I have my drink? Uh, I need to mix it thoroughly. Shaken. Whoopam. Did you just say the name G? Yes. Yeah, so what? That's the detective was going so, in for Steve so. real bad. That's what. Is that so? Well, he was just out fishing, but I wasn't gonna bite. Now I take it since you're at my bar, you want a drink? Sure. Not from you. <laughs> you went out fishing, but I wasn't gonna bite. It's like, okay, well, I didn't say... Yeah, that's I how they really. Her. That's <laughs> how they <laughs> really talked in the movies back then. <laughs> in the They're pictures. Like, yeah, and they, yeah, in the pictures. Yeah, I knew her. Why? Did something happen to her? Yeah, something definitely did. That's why the murder police are here. Was oh, that the clue? Or? Yeah, that was that. Was that. Yep. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello? Who is this? All right. I also do not know who it is. When it's so, uh, back when our phone numbers were just... Two digits. <laughs> well, close six. It's five dash nine two one seven three. Mm -hmm. So, or Manhattan five, huh? Manhattan five. A lot less phone numbers back then too. Um, how often do you 
reason does Steve come in? What's it to you? Just, uh, we got this recipe, but I've never mixed it, except once for, um... Look, Arthur, Steve likes privacy. <laughs> and one thing he don't like is people asking questions. <laughs> this is she's, like, cleaning it closer and closer. <laughs> To his face. <laughs> With a microphone. <laughs> yeah, boom mic. He's just... He's like... <laughs> Look, I, I, bitch, I just got this freaking recipe thing. Get that... <laughs> quit cleaning it. I'm just gonna fucking move it. Alright. <laughs> Can you tell it's dirty? Oh... I thought it was just gonna be, it's me, the police. <laughs> it's me. Hello, it's me. <laughs> so if you Don't can't, do this. if you can't tell, it's um, this is ASMR the game. <laughs> <laughs> and last. That fucking shitty ass trumpet in the back. <laughs> Hold on. Listen to the laser beat. The laser beam at the beginning. <laughs> that was Daffy Duck running out of the barn. I'm gonna listen to the trumpet again. Oh, this is sweet saloon bar. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Burr! oh shit, shit, let me get out of here. That lady, you just All see right. the trumpet being harassed by her cleaning the glass. He's like playing and then it just, <laughs> 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 all right, so those are our clues. Okay. Well, those are the chapters. Those are the chapters. Um, these are the clues. Yeah, these are the clues. These are the stories. I wonder if it's I was about <laughs> the chapter. I wonder if These it's gonna the be days a, of our lives. <laughs> I wonder if it's gonna be as easy as being like, "Oh, cocktail recipe." Here's this. It immediately goes to that. Potentially. Maybe. The usual, please. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, that, that was a guy asking for a drink. I don't believe it was. No, it's this. No, that was this one. Uh, give me a drink. Oh. Oh. wasn't asking. That, that is true. <laughs> you know what? Is this a heroin spoon or a stirring spoon? Well, it, it's a, definitely a stirring spoon, cat. It's a long heroin spoon. <laughs> it's like those long spoons. Cigarettes. Yeah, the classy cigarettes. Classy hair. You know, all, this, all that was was a fucking pipe and your cigarette stuck on the very end of that. It wasn't a long... It's like, what was the point of that? I don't know. That longer is better. I guess. All right. Did you just say the name G? Yeah, so what? Uh, okay. That's the detective who's coming in for Steve for real bad. That's what. Is that so? Well, he was just out fishing, but I wasn't gonna bite. Okay. Now I take it since you're at my bar, you want a drink? Sure. They fucked up and they're like, oh, this is actually supposed to be uh, <laughs> like a male voice. Well, th we just might have started with, with let's just move on. Okay. Well, we're not trying to match Let's put music. those two together before we forget. I have and then I'm, I'm thinking <clears throat> we should start with the cigarettes and the spoon. Or fine, hand me the cigarette, please. I will do it so. We'll start with this one. It doesn't okay. matter what we start with. <laughs> we just have to listen to them right now. Well, yeah, but I mean, we can start well, putting I together. Got nothing for you, Mr. G. Oh, okay, she hung up. That was this one, right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Henry, you're back quick. You done what I asked? Yep. That rat ain't gonna be squeaking. Uh huh. Man. Oh, he said that rat ain't gonna be squeaking. Yeah, because the Manhattan one was. Ow. Hello? Who is this? Well, I ain't got nothing for you, G. Coppa. I guess give me that. Give me the anal tarring brush. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
So many people drinking in bars these days. <sighs> I came with a message. That bartender who <laughs> left as I came in, he's a rat. Oh, it might be this one. Maybe the bartender came in, asked for a drink, and then she followed whoever okay. this lady is. Okay. okay, so we'll go We'll go with all these two. All right, we hand me the cigarette tray. God, remember when these were around all the time? I do. Yeah. I do. also do. Okay. Vaping is a very recent thing. <laughs> yeah, but usually they don't need ashtrays for vaping. I know, that's you, what I'm saying. You it's just like, blow your... Oh. Yeah. Like, I was telling... Uh, do you... Because uh, I know you're an avid chain smoker. Yeah. Um, <laughs> do you remember that Marlboro used to have, like, uh, <laughs> rewards mm -hmm. for, like, cigarettes? You would turn in um, barcodes, like, from their cigarette packs. If you turned in enough, you got, like, a bar... My mom had a Marlboro jacket. So. I, I knew about it. I saw the ads. Yeah. But... As a kid... Pretty cool. I, uh... Yeah. I, I, I would help my mom peel those off. Ah. Yeah. Good bonding. <laughs> well, not, you know, some people do it with box tops, and other people do it. Good work, Henry. Pass me that ashtray, <laughs> then get back to your corn. Is that that one? Get back to your corner so I can... So I can <laughs> clean, this, <laughs> clean this glass in front of you. Where was the, um... So here's the guy saying he didn't... He, he, he hadn't made that drink before, except once. Yeah, what was this one? I don't remember. Oh. <laughs> How did you get back so soon? Let's <laughs> <I> celebrate! <laughs> nothing, <laughs> nothing ever good happens to drunk people in this That's situation, true. so he's definitely probably the rat. She said, like, good work, Henry. No. Scrap. Good work, Henry. Pass me that ashtray, then get back to your corner. Your corner. Give me a call. <laughs> Give me a call. Call. Get call. back to your coroner. <laughs> That's what it sounded like. Get back to you. <laughs> um, how often does Steve come in? What's it to you? Just, uh, we got this recipe, but I've never mixed it, except once for, um... Look, Arthur, Steve likes privacy, and one thing he don't like... Is Publicity. people asking questions? <laughs> and one thing he don't like. <laughs> no, it's like and one thing. <laughs> it's all it's all muffled. <laughs> it's, like, it's the skit. It's the skit from Family Guy when they're talking about the trumpet. Oh, a distracting trumpet! I said we're gonna need it. Bring in someone. Yeah. yeah. So what? Uh, oh. The detective was got it in for Steve real bad. There we go. <laughs> Is that so? Well, he was just out fishing, but I wasn't gonna bite. Now I take it since you're at my bar, you want a drink? Sure. Okay, we'll go with these. These three, right off the bat. Works for me so far. Alright, now we got the, the fucking cum rag. It's the cloth with all the... Uh, sure. Clothing. Hey, uh... It's okay if I take off early, innit? It's quiet, no? I guess so, Arthur. Thanks. Which one's the super squeaky? Was I can't. I, is it this one or this one? This was the. This guy. one had the one with the squeaky. No. No. No, it was still. Yeah, it was still this one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So th this one has super squeaky. <laughs> Was it Arthur? Was the bartender asking about Steve? Was that what that was? Um, because it sounds to me like it's the same voice. Nervous little guy. Um, how often does Steve come in? What's it to you? Just uh, we got this recipe, but I've never mixed it except once for um. Look, Arthur. Mm -hmm. Steve likes privacy. And one thing he don't like is people asking questions. Okay, yeah, so it's, so it has to be these three. That makes sense. And I just need to know the order. 
Here's the keys. And I got his keys to this place like you asked. Then I had to scram because some fella oh, turned this up. one. Looked like a gumshoe. Ah, gumshoe means police. <laughs> or detective. Or detective. Why? Because they have gum on the shoe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't, really I don't know. know. I don't know. All I know is that it's in the Detective City of Angels game they call. Oh, yeah. They're called gumshoes. Oh, yeah. The map. Mix it a drink. Pour it a drink. Drink it a drink. It's so hard. Having sex. Jim, you look terrible. What happened? Fuck you! Uh, there was no goods at the drop. I nosed around looking for Greg, but no luck. He was supposed to meet me there half an hour ago. Okay. Is he looking for old Greg? Yeah. <laughs> I'm back old Greg's place. Uh, I'm not taking a fall for that dimwit. Jim, you ain't gonna make it right by breaking stuff. Now get back to your corner. Mm. No, was that Jim? Wasn't that her? What was that here? This Ooh. was making the drink. I don't think this one is correct. This okay. was the lady, right? Yeah. The usual, please. One of these ended with, um, so you came into my bar, you probably want a drink. Yeah. Why don't we check out what that little dust pan is? Wouldn't that be cool? No. <laughs> It'll make me feel better, though. Especially when I break Greg's face. Jen, clean up that glass before you lose a toe. Ooh, that's a direct threat. Okay. <laughs> I'll so I'll cut off your pink. Okay, so this one, the was a guy asking, demanding. Comes up mad. Give me a drink, Jim. Mm, mm, mm. We found the Jim chapter. Yep. Why does it sound like thick liquid? <laughs> okay. So. So we know for sure it's those two. Yeah. So, <clears throat> was it that one? Or is the map one? Finish mixing the drink. Pour on it. He came with a message. No, no, no. That, yeah. Who okay. left as I came in? He's a rat. So the map one must be the other gym. <laughs> She's still mixing it. We use the same sounds every. Sounds like someone slightly sneezed into the glass. Yeah. Jim, you look terrible. Okay. What happened? So that's okay. these three. There was no good to Do we have a... I nosed around looking for Greg, but no luck. Fuck you, he Greg. He was supposed to meet me there half an hour ago. We have the order then, because those those two are definitely first. Do we have the order of the other two? Wait. So what's two? What's first? So Chapter this, heading. This it's one. Oh, and then these two. Map, yeah. bar, stool, pan. Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and see if we can solve that one. Just get out of the way. Yeah. All right. Okay. Ha! Yeah. The map. The bar stool. And then the dust pan. And we are correct. And now we get even more info. Oh, give me a drink. Imagine it was bartenders. <laughs> Jim, you look terrible. What happened? Uh, there was no goods at the drop. I nosed around looking for Greg, but no luck. He was supposed to meet me there half an hour ago. Uh, 
I'm not taking a fall for that dimwit. Jim, you ain't gonna make it right by breaking stuff. It'll make me feel better, though. Especially when I break Greg's face. Jim, clean up that glass before you lose a toe. I don't have any toes! I'm waiting for Greg. Oh, wait, hold on. Then just sit tight and wait for Greg to get back. Do you think they got, like, the this? local theater so kids? Like she was to, like, about <laughs> to, like, finish a sentence before he, he gets before back. He, before he, uh, uh before... Uh, Line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we get before he gets back. Okay. All right. So, with this one, the uh, Steve Manchetti, um, or uh, Steve, what was it, Beretti? Steve, Steve Confetti? Steve, um, you Steve fine. Buscemi. That's Steve. it. Ah, Steve Buscemi. A real person. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was trying to go with it the first time. I was just making fun of this a fictional person. No, I didn't want to go to solve, you fucking idiot. What's it to you? Just, uh, we got this recipe, but I've never mixed it, except once for, um... Look, Arthur, Steve likes privacy. And one thing he don't like is people asking questions. <laughs> He's just like... <laughs> and then the rag, I'm sure, comes right after that. She oh, starts yeah. to, She's like... She's still squeaking. She cleans his glasses, too. Ah, <laughs> uh, sure. It's okay if I take off early, innit? <laughs> it's quiet, no? I guess so, Arthur. Thanks. You don't want your fucking tips. Okay, he leaves. Okay. Um, so. Tap shoes. <laughs> well, someone came in. Probably. Probably the female? Maybe the girl. Yeah, that's Could what... very well be. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because she's gonna say, hey, usual, please. Oh, mm -hmm. I just realized this has Jim, Anna, and Greg. Oh, interesting. On it. So these are the. So Anna's the female here. But there's another one between them. I gotta pee. Oh, that's all that was. Okay. Yeah, there's one that comes between them. There's one that ends with, so you want the usual. And we're thinking that's Anna entering. Came with a message. Yeah. That bartender oh. who left as I came in, mm -hmm. he's a rat. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe it is after that. <clears throat> yeah, so... Um, what was the ashtray? <clears throat> I know, right? I'm having a hard time. This one is... Uh... hearing so many things. Good work, Henry. Ah. Ask me that ashtray, then get back to your I think that's here. So I think... So I think this goes first. Okay. Um... Because it's just like making she's just going about her business. Yeah. She's no, that's you know, that, that's that's the um, the bartender leaving. Oh, this is the bartender leaving. Arthur. Yeah. Cause so he's this saying, is okay, in between, then she comes yeah. in. Can I leave early? She she's talks. doing yeah. her job. And okay. Yes. Yeah. Nice detective work, you gumshoe. I think yeah. it's wrong. <laughs> well, it's not. <laughs> no, you can't do that chapter. <laughs> Two. Then the recipe that went with the recipe. If we're correct. Yep. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> how often does Steve come in? What's it to you? What's it Just, to you? Uh, we got this I recipe, but I've never mixed it. Except once for, um... Look, Arthur. Steve God. likes privacy. And one thing he don't like is people asking questions. Uh, sure. Hey, um... It's okay if I take off early, isn't it? It's quiet, no? I guess so, Arthur. Thanks. Your glasses are smudged. <laughs> Good 
the usual, please. Make the goddamn drink. Don't make any suspicion. I came with a message. That bartender who left as I came in, he's a rat. Arthur? Yeah. I heard that Tony G, the detective who works in my precinct, had an informant. So I went digging to see who'd been hauled in and might have flipped to avoid time in the cooler. It's Arthur, and he's meeting Tony G tonight. I need to get back before I'm missed. Okay, let's order these in the way we think they might go. Henry, of time. get over here. I got a job for you. Go kill that person on account of hearsay. <laughs> um, I think the ice scoop might go under. Well, those two are definitely in sequence. Because. Huh? Wait a minute. Maybe not. Oh, okay, so then obviously these ones. So we have the man, the, the Manhattan. Oh, whoops. So I meant to uh, go to listen. Who is this? Okay, so she gets the phone call, um, then the cigarette, but well, I got nothing for you, Mr. this has G. to be at the end. Yeah, cause she hangs up the phone. If the whole thing is a phone call. Henry, you're back quick. You done what I asked? Yep, that rat ain't gonna be squeaking. Okay, yeah. so... Uh, then we have the ashtray. Good work, Henry. Pass me that ashtray, then get back to your corn. Right after that. Yeah. So. Then get back to your corner. I heard corner. Okay, and then, yeah. keys to this place like you asked. Then I had to scram because some fella turned up. Looked like a gumshoe. So this goes at the end, right? I guess so. Yeah, because she's like very, very no good. Way. Oh yeah, there's one more. Oh wait, no, then so no, it goes yeah, like that. because you're saying, oh, good work. Yeah, very good. Okay. Okay. Solve! Yep, so then... <gasps> Yeah! Hello? Who is this? Am I speaking to the bartender? Yeah. Only one of you working tonight? Right. Arthur gave me this number. Told me you might know something about the owner of the joint. A guy called Steve. We ain't got a bartender called Arthur. And I don't know no Steve. Well, let's just say if you did, we might be able to come to some arrangement that'd be to your advantage. What did you say your name was? G. Detective Tony G. Well, I got nothing for you, Mr. G. <laughs> Henry, you're back quick. You done what I asked? Yep. That rat ain't gonna be squeaking. I got his keys to this place like you asked. Then I had to scram because some fella turned up. Looked like a gumshoe. Yeah. Good work, Henry. Pass me that ashtray, then get back to your corn. Okay, yeah, so this is the one where she got the job. She gave him the job. Mm -hmm. She got a phone call, so that goes before, at least in, in the sequential order. Why so, do you think that this goes before? Which one was this? That was the one with, uh... Yep. That one guy. That was the one making all the drinks. That was whenever he left. <laughs> that was the one making all the drinks. Yeah. Yeah, whenever she was making the different types of drinks. Because this is when he gets really, really, no, this is when he gets really, really mad and she's like, 
go cool it before you lose your fucking toe, you dumbass. Oh, because they were supposed to get, they were, he was supposed to meet up with someone. So that's probably, it will just end sequential of these three. But you think that this comes after? It's going to come after. You think that that's That's fine, one? but okay. we can order. I thought we were ordering them like that. Anyway, so now. Play we that one before my memory goes real quick. Okay. Oh, that's, yeah, that's when she's like, it's going to be cased. Yeah. It's me. The police are coming to rape the joint. Clear out now. Is one of these starts out with, hey, did you, did, did I just hear you say G? I think it's... And I knew it was her hanging up the phone, but it Okay, we got a too. shaker, we got some change, and then we got a broken bottle. Okay, so yeah, uh, that was the pol police are coming to raid the joint. Mm -hmm. Tony G. This no, is that's the one. Did you just say the name G? So that comes right after yeah, those. Yeah, so what? That's the detective who's got it in for Steve real bad. That's what. Is that so? Well, he was just out fishing, but I wasn't gonna bite. Now I take it since you're at my bar, you want a drink? No. Sure. Yeah. Might as well. Okay. Okay. And then that's the yeah. This drunk. is the drunk guy. So that just one comes immediately after that third one. This one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. So here's what we got. We got this uh, shaker. Police are coming to raid Ooh. the joint. I was gonna say I was like very quiet. She's just waiting. They're gonna need their glasses She's clean. She's making a Molotov cocktail, baby. <laughs> she might be. All right, then we got the change. You know what? She might be. <laughs> they didn't have anything for this one. They just had fucking sound bites of liquid mm. I'm gonna go with that one that was that was this was the party guy right I was like hey know. Jim or whatever yeah probably yeah that's after the police get there yeah ah ooh a D I don't know what was this one again let me I don't think we listened to it again drunk guy just comes in order to drink Big so soon. Let's <laughs> that's gonna turn into a fight, I bet. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, too. he was mad, right? Yeah. So he's already like. All right. Ooh, dry gin. How nice. Yeah. Another. Just give me a straight. Mm. Another. Another. And keep keep him coming. I only have to drive four blocks north. Yeah. Back when uh, they'd be like, okay. That definitely sounds like a police officer. So that's after the raid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone, we're out of here. You know the drill, leave no traces. Yeah, like directly after. This is probably, this is, yeah. Oh, well, we got a lighter, maybe to make that Molotov. Or to pee on it. Okay. Yeah, but uh, I think this is pouring the liquid and then side, let it, lighting the place on fire. Could be. Uh, it's a pretty drastic way to escape police, but you, okay. <laughs> what was the newspaper again? You don't have to play it, just so you remember. Um, no. <laughs> Did you just say the name G? Okay. Yeah, so what? That's the detective who's got it in for Steve real bad. That's what. Is that so? Well, he was just out fishing. Go ahead and just skip. But I wasn't gonna bite. You just couldn't remember. Yeah, you, this one comes after this one, mm -hmm. right? Because she's like, I don't have anything for you, yeah, Jay. That word for sure. Okay. All right, then we got this bullet casing. 
Yep, that's how that'll happen. That took a turn. The money? Steve doesn't pay me enough for this. Okay, that was that. Um, and then a tooth. That's all we're looking for is a tooth. Uh, you numbskull! Mm. Yeah. Or else the shots come in a different sequence. Well, no, that's no, that's got to go with that guy. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Okay. Another. Just give me a straight. Oh, yeah. It's the drunk guy who comes in. Uh -uh. No, 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 because there's because the drunk guy's like, well, yeah! stop. Listen, listen okay. to what you're. Okay, okay. Sorry, this is gonna prove it. Mm -hmm. Okay. This has upbeat party music throughout, through, at mm -hmm. least through this, okay. um, and then the gin and that has like a piano, piano like mm -hmm. very relaxing piano. Yep. Okay. Okay. Let's do this one. So, it are we doing it in this order? I don't remember. <laughs> she says. So the first one is she gets the phone call. The barrel is her telling everyone, "Okay, get out." Yep. And then she's mixing the liquid, and then she's lighting it all on fire. Yep. Or she's real brave, and she's going down with the ship. Nah. Down it. Nope. All cards belong to this chapter, but they are in the wrong order. Switch the last two. Yeah. Um. She is going down with the ship. Barrel. The barrel. And then we're doing then the lighter. lighter. She lit it on fire, and then you hear the police come up after, it, after uh. they're already gone. Uh, so what we thought was still drinking, mixing yeah. drinks, was flames. Ah, yep. Yeah. Oh. That's correct. Yeah. It's me. That'll be the last one. The police are coming to raid the joint. Clear out yeah. now. Okay, everyone, we're out of here. You know the drill, leave no traces. You know the drill, we do this all the time. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Burn the, burn the whole thing down. No, it's a drill. They've been practicing. Every Tuesday at 7 p.m. <laughs> All right, then. Immolation practice. <laughs> well, you've been a doozy of a speakeasy. And we had a good run. One last drink for the road. <clears throat> One last jobber. <laughs> Billy's the name. Well, that's it. She's pouring herself one last drink. I could have escaped, but I chose not to. <laughs> I would just drink it straight out of the shaker. <laughs> nope, you gotta be classy. Be you don't even know what a speakeasy is. Based off my clues and code names. You know, the roller skates. <laughs> yeah, all the roller skating you can hear in the background. <laughs> all right, so then uh, we'll just do this one. Uh, now, this order, I'm not sure. This one was, it's probably the change, and then the drinking, and then the the money, because this one was like, does, you know, geez, the guy, or, yeah. Did you just say, Jamie? Yeah. She'll be like, Yeah. Yeah. If I hear pouring drinks one more time. I know, god damn. Yeah, then this is him. Oh, another, another, another. Okay. Hit me. Steve doesn't pay me enough for this. Yeah. That's the order I'm going to go with. Okay. Well, those last two could be reversed. Mm -hmm. They yeah. can. Because they can. But that one's just so Actually, they could be in any order because none of them really. <laughs> yeah. It's probably all don't even go to this one. Ones. Nope. All cards belong to this chapter, but they are in the wrong order. Okay. So maybe, maybe the maybe maybe the gin is first. No, maybe the gin is first. I don't think there's enough in each in in any of the three to draw a conclusion. I know. Um. 
He doesn't pay me enough, and then he's counting his money. Or he's counting his money, and then he doesn't pay me enough. So you think he's drinking first? Well, he got poor to drink at the end, didn't he? At, oh, the, at this the end one? of the. Yeah. I don't remember. I don't want to listen to it again. I cannot. I can't stand okay. liquid pouring let's, one more time. Let's I try will, that sequence. I will just have a. Well, you got to start with the chapter heading. I did. Oh. Good for you. Yep. Nope. Nope. But they're in the wrong order. Well, there's only 12,000 possible combinations, so... Okay, oh, here's a hint. Okay, so the, this is correct. So they... Okay, so it's money, and okay. then... Okay, cool. So I was like, just give me the... Just yeah. give me the hint. There's no score at the end. Yeah. Oh, I guess maybe after he was counting his money, he's like, Ah, oh, now I just need a drink. Yay! Did you just say the name G? Yeah, so what? That's the detective who's got it in for Steve real bad. Yeah. That's what. Is that so? Well, he was just out fishing. But I wasn't gonna bite. Now I take it since you're at my bar, do you want a drink? Sure. chance I meet Steve soon, do you think? You know, we don't pal around with just anyone. And you don't make the cut, Greg. What the? What'd you even know anyway? Huh? <laughs> Whatever. You got the info about tonight's drop for me? Give me a sec. I think Steve left an envelope for you. There's so many better sound bites they could have used. Steve doesn't pay me enough for this. You have to pay for this. I'll be though. sure to pass that on. No, no need for that, doll. No? I didn't mean it anyhow. Another. Just give me a strike. Another. Another. And keep keep them coming. I only have to drive four blocks north. That's a clue. Is it? To what? I have no is, idea. Is he the one that comes back and she's like, oh. You again? Are he, what? No, because this was the guy that was like, damn, you're back early. Yeah. And then they get in a fight. I just um, know that this one's not the beginning. Okay, getting a drink board. It's like he was laughing at first. Maybe. <laughs> and then he got shot. And this sounds like a fight, but it's actually a really passionate love making. Oh well, yeah. Oh damn it! No, no, no! I meant to go to solve. <laughs> All right. So we got that one, then we got the tooth, then we got the bottle, and then we got the bullet. Yep. Okay. Jim, hey, hey, how did you get back so soon? Let's celebrate. I think you've had enough for one night. What are they paying for, huh? Pour it. Okay, so 
Uh, all right. So now we got all six of them. Mm -hmm. So in what order do these go in? Those two are definitely the last in my mind. You think? I think so. You want to change my mind? Um, so this one was... This one was the guy who came back from a job, mm -hmm. okay. and he was pissed. Mm -hmm. okay. So I get. So it that sounds like right. it's in between these two. Yeah, I would agree with that. Um, this is the one, yeah, where she was make just going. So this, I think, this is the start. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, because we were trying to order it. Yeah. So I yep. think definitely put the shovel here. Okay. The scoop. This one was where she got a phone call. From and, G. Yeah, and I think this is after that. Mm -hmm. This one is, yeah, uh, he comes back and he's like, oh, Steve doesn't pay me enough. Um, actually, what was the scoop? Oh, he comes back. I think, uh, hmm. I don't know who the fuck. There's, they all sound the same. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting the people and their names mixed up. It's because we can't physically see them. Yeah. And we got a list of three of the names here. Yeah, Jim and Greg. And then Anna was some other bartender. So this one. She was the one who phoned in that the police were coming. Yeah. So she was there in one of these, and then yeah, she so phoned in she later. She came in this one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so then, yeah, this was whenever he came back from a job, and he's drunk by this point, and then they get in a fight. He's drunk. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I think it has to go like in this order, right? Fine with me. Your your reasoning is sound. Let's okay. Shake it <gasps> yeah, we did it. Story ah, yes. solved. All right, <clears throat> the epilogue. Having pieced together the events of last night, you report what you've learned to Tony. After Arthur left the bar, a woman came in and fingered Arthur as a snitch, which she knows because she works for the police. <laughs> Her cocktail recipe identifies her as Anna, and Tony says it must be a clerk who works in the evidence locker of his precinct. One of Steve's thugs, Henry, was sent to kill Arthur. Another henchman, Greg, messed up an important delivery because he was drunk, and the bartender gave him a bullet to the brain. Anna tipped off the bartender about a raid. After clearing out the customers and burning any evidence, the bartender mixed one last drink for herself. Two shots, shaken with ice, then topped with cracked pepper. When you tell Tony that. this, his jaw drops. The cocktail book says that this is the favorite drink of Steve Manchetti. Suddenly, everything makes sense. When Arthur mumbled something about the bartender, he wasn't saying she could help catch Steve. He was saying she was Steve. The bartender sent Henry to kill Arthur, and she was the one who shot Greg for his incompetence. Tony laughs. She could run everything from the bar while appearing to be nothing but a lackey. Now, armed with her identity and the lowdown on her gang, Tony feels sure he'll put cool Steve behind bars one day very soon. Just follow the smoke. <laughs> All right, so that was Echoes, the cocktail. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Uh, click the I to go to the discussion. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. Hey everyone, thank you for watching, and I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you would like to see more of my content, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I upload any new content. If you feel like supporting the channel, you can go ahead and click that Patreon link to be taken to my Patreon, and any help is truly appreciated. Other than that, stick around for any, any other run-throughs or reviews or cool top tens or whatever I feel like putting on. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.